going to smile. This is meant to be a scary look. Okay. That's scary. Hi, I'm Daisy and this is my beauty's big sister channel. Halloween is coming up. I love Halloween. I love trying out different makeup looks and now looks. For this one, I'm going to show you how to get a real vampy look. It's using a dark purple smoky eye with a berry lip. It's really wearable and it looks nice, but it's still got that vampy edge, so it's perfect for Halloween. So I've already started with my base makeup. That includes my foundation, concealer, brow powder and mascara. Now I'm going to go on to my eyeshadow, which is one of the main points about this look. So I'm going to use this Gosh eye palette. It's new and this is the New York variant. Really nice dark purple and brown shades in this to create a really nice smoky eye. Um, I'm going to use this um, purple shade here with my Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm going to apply it all the way of my entire eyelid here and then slightly going up over the crease. Now I'm going to take this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm going to apply this dark purple shade that's in the middle here and I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyelid. Just taking it up there. And then I'm going to apply it into my crease here. It doesn't matter you're going further up here as you want this smoky eye to sit quite high up to your eyebrow. Now you want to blend your shadow and I'm going to do this by using this Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush and I'm just going to blend the lines Now I'm going to take this Real Techniques Accent Brush and use the same dark purple shadow and line my upper lid and my lower lid with this. Now I'm going to use this base shadow brush and I'm going to use this pearly white shadow here and I'm going to apply this just below my brow because it's got a pearly finish, it's really flattering and really highlights your bone structure. Now I'm going to use this Gosh Smoky Eye Pencil in Carbon Black. Really like this pencil for blending, it's really blendable and you can use the sponge to blend it with on the other end. Got a nice thick line there and then the same on the other eye. Now that I've got my line, I'm going to blend it using this sponge. Now I'm just going to go over my lashes with mascara because I've got some eyeshadow on them. This is the Rimmel Kate one. I think it's, yeah, the scandalised one. Really thick lashes are good for this look, so feel free to add some, even just some individual lashes to the end of your eyes to really accentuate your eye shape. Now I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to use this sleek contour kit with this Real Techniques bronzer brush. I'm going to use a bronzer in the in the kit 
underneath my cheekbones. Underneath my chin, to the side of my face, and down the sides of my nose. Now to highlight, I'm going to use this NARS stick in Copper Cabana and I'm going to put it on the tops of my cheekbones, round by my temple here, down the middle of my nose. Now this is for the fun bit. I'm going to apply this Maybelline Colour Drama Pencil in Very Much. I love this range of pencils, they're just really nice texture and they last for ages. I'm just going to apply it straight onto my lips. And that's my makeup Halloween look complete. I would never normally be brave enough to try a lip this dark, but I, I really like it. I might try this on a night out soon, but I'm definitely gonna wear it to my Halloween party. And I hope you wear this look for Halloween too. If you did like this video, then please like and comment below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I did do this makeup look for a featuring Dare magazine, which is out now. So I'll put the link below if you want to check out the pictures from that shoot. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.